nature with the coolest creatures From the oceans to the trees The brothers crack are going places you never get to see Hanging with their creature friends Get ready, it's the hour We're gonna save some animals today with Creature Power! And lizard climb, falcon flight, and land ride. Koala balloon. Wow, Australia sure is an amazing continent. It is a super diverse landscape. Are you sure you guys want to go on this survival trek with no creature pods? Oh, yeah. We can't wait to challenge ourselves like adventurers of the olden days. No phones, no communications. We'll be traveling by way of the sun and the stars and the desert winds. And the animals will give us clues. We can handle anything the Australian Outback throws at us. Compass coming at you, Chris. Whoa. <laughs> and we can handle anything Koki throws at us, too. Okay, things you need in the desert. Water, tarp, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I can't figure out how Martin finds things when he packs like that. If I packed all organized like Chris, I'd never find anything. We'll be waiting for you here. It's a eucalyptus forest oasis right on the edge of the Australian Outback Forest. You sure you don't want to take them in case of an emergency situation? No way. It's just us and the desert. Ah, we can handle anything without them. Ready, Chris? Ready, Martin. Hey, guys. Uh, you forgot your creature pods. Ah, oh, nice, nice try, try Aviva. Aviva. Woo! Woo! Australian Outback, here we come! would want to travel without technology when they have technology. Cause they're creature adventuring crats. And if anyone can do without creature comforts, it's our guys. Hey, I'm one of your guys. And I cannot do without video games or frozen pizza or my teleporter. That's why we didn't drop you in the desert, Jimmy. I am kind of excited to spend time watching koalas in the eucalyptus forest. Me too. Cool creatures. Bro, we just started our survival trek. Maybe you shouldn't be drinking so much water. I only had three sips. <laughs> I think it was more like five sips. Maybe four. But you're right. We might be prepared for our trek, but we're up against one of the biggest, baddest deserts of the planet, the Australian Outback. Only five centimeters of rainfall a year. Daytime temperature, 39 degrees Celsius. And the best way to handle it is by following the desert creatures for leads. Like the thorny devil. Wow. He looks like a prehistoric mini dinosaur. But I've seen better dancers. He sure is a spiny little guy. I'm gonna name him Spinester. Hi. Hey, oh, don't get too close, Chris. He's drinking. What do you mean? There isn't any water, no puddle, no stream. Remember, the most amazing part of the thorny devil is how they drink. Those water attracting grooves on their skin that lead to the corners of their mouth. That's right. They can actually drink water from dew that falls on their backs. Oh, I can always spare some drops of water for my thirsty lizard friend. The grooves collect the water, and then as the thorny devil drinks, the water is pulled through the grooves right up to the corner of his mouth. It's like he's got straws all over his body, so he can suck the water right into his mouth. Oh, if I had that, I'd pour lemonade on my back all day. <laughs> Whoa, boy. From the sun's location, we have about three hours before it gets dark. So we gotta keep heading east, the opposite direction that the sun sets and learn more about survival in the great Australian outback. We'll try to make you proud, Spinester. See ya. Ah, when I feel sick, black balloons always have a way of lifting my spirits. 
Huh? Achoo! Uh, I'm coming to Australia to get some eucalyptus tea. Should make Zaki all better. <laughs> What's this? No, I, I said tea, not tree. What am I supposed to do with this? Ah! Huh? 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 What's this fuzzy thing in here? Ah! Get rid of it, Zackbot. Oh, can't you do anything without being programmed? Just attach the fuzzy thing to a few helium balloons and, and send it sailing, will ya? See ya, fuzzhead! And next time, you sneak into my jet... Uh, 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 you bring me some eucalyptus tea? Tea? Hey, where's that shadow coming from? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? What is it? It's a bird. Nope, no wings. It's a meteor. Nope, too slow and floaty. What is it? I don't know, bro. It looks like it's attached to balloons. It's, it's a koala. We've got to catch him. Martin, the tarp. Go right, Martin. Yay! Got it. Oh. A little to the left, Chris. Yes. Gotcha, little guy. Hello, koala balloon. Koala balloon? <laughs> yeah, koala balloon. It's fun to say. Rolls off the tongue. Koala balloon. Koalas don't live in the desert either. What's a koala doing flying through the air? And where'd he get the balloons? Let's make sure he's okay. Okay, looking, yep, looking good. <laughs> oh, oh, he's okay. Hey, koala balloon, where'd you come from? <laughs> I thought we were prepared for everything the desert could throw at us. But a koala? Oh, we only have water rations for two, not three. And this little guy has special needs. Water, shade, eucalyptus leaves to eat, and eucalyptus trees to live in. Ooh, this survival challenge just took on a whole new furry meaning. Okay, we've got to think positive. We can't communicate with the crew, and we have a koala in the desert. And the positive part is... We do have a koala. <laughs> we'll just have to share whatever we have in our packs, keep him safe, and get him back to the eucalyptus forest as fast as we can. Okay, we'll have to keep his spirits up too. Who's the cutest little guy who fell from the sky? Whose name is Koala Balloon? All right, we're about 64 kilometers from where the gang is waiting at the eucalyptus forest. Let's move out. It says here koalas are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. And the plant they eat the most is the eucalyptus. Really? No, Jimmy! They're poisonous, unless you're a koala with a very specialized digestive system that takes out the poisons and flushes it out your liver. Why do the koalas seem so tired? It's not time for bed. Because it takes a lot out of their system to digest the leaves, so they sleep a lot. I think I'll stick to what my stomach is specialized to eat, pizza. <laughs> Bro, we should probably take a break and eat something to keep up our strength. Looks like Koala Balloon agrees with you, dude. He's hungry too. Oh, that's not a koala's kind of leaf. <laughs> He's a picky eater. Yeah. Koalas only eat eucalyptus leaves, and they don't grow in the desert. Wait a minute. My survival pack, I've got all kinds of leaves in there. What? Why? Because I'm Martin Kratt, well-prepared creature adventurer. Huh. All right. Oak leaves. Mango leaves. Fig leaves. But no eucalyptus leaves. Oh, wait. I have eucalyptus oil and our sandwiches. But what about Koala Balloon? He's got nothing to eat. Then what's he chewing? Yep, yeah, it's a eucalyptus leaf. Wait, koalas have a pouch in their mouth to store food when they need to move to a safer location. He brought a snack with him. Now we can all have lunch together. 
Koala balloon! Koala balloon. Oh, he's cute, but he sure knows how to put the sand in sandwich. Ugh. I've heard of crunchy peanut butter, but never crunchy jelly. Oh. <laughs> oh, Wanna hear something cool? I'd rather drink something cool, but go for it. Koalas also get their water from eucalyptus leaves. When they have dew or rain on them? Nope. The water is actually part of the leaves. Wow! Eucalyptus leaves are a one-stop food and drink shop for koalas. <gasps> I don't know about you, dude, but I could use a water break. Sounds good to me. But koalas first. Only three sips, koala balloon. <laughs> koala balloon! No! Oh, well now we only have half a canteen of water for all of us. And we were just reminded that koalas don't drink water like we do. They get all their water from the eucalyptus leaves they eat. And we gotta find another way to get them a drink. Hmm. Ow! Oh prickly pear cactus! Prickly pear cactus! Hey, aren't they full of water? That's it! Okay, koalas get their water from eucalyptus leaves too, right? Right. Ow! So, if I cut this prickly pear leaf into the shape of a eucalyptus leaf, and then sprinkle some eucalyptus oil on it to get the right smell? Exactly. If it looks like eucalyptus, if it smells like eucalyptus, he could get some water from it, just like eucalyptus. Yes, ha <laughs> ha! I'm a creature genius, and I'm a pin cushion. Ow. <gasps> hey, at least you got enough water in him before he realized it wasn't a real eucalyptus leaf. Let's cover some ground, bro. I don't think he wants to walk anymore. It looks like he wants to stay in the shade. Koalas don't like the hot sun. That's why they spend so much time in the cool shade of eucalyptus trees. If only we could find some real shade. <gasps> Phew. Oh, let's keep walking. And I'll keep being a shade for now. Hmm, is it ever nice and cool under this shady eucalyptus tree? Koalas spend most of their time in trees for that exact reason. I wonder if the guys are missing their creature pods. I mean, I hope they're having a good time. They're crap bros, Aviva. They love swimming with lions and battling fish. Uh, maybe it's the other way around. Nice life being a koala. Eat a leaf, go to sleep, eat more leaves, and hang out in trees. Koalas don't seem to like hanging out on the ground. They race right back up to the trees. If you had predators watching, you'd hang out in trees, too. Are dingoes one of their predators? Yup. Dingoes are koala's main predator. Because there's one now. <gasps> we met them when we were in Australia researching tea devils. But as you can see, the koalas are safe in the trees. Hmm? Hmm? Think I'll have my dinner with the koalas. <laughs> <sighs> Where's a furry hat in the desert? <sighs> Not anymore! Koala balloon! Uh, koala balloon's got a grip! Oh yeah, sure does! He's got five fingers on each paw, and on the front ones, two of them move separately like thumbs. That's how koalas can hold tightly onto branches. Or my nose! And why koalas are such great climbers. Oh no, not again! Hey, Koala Balloon, you ever notice that Chris's shirt is green? Like a eucalyptus leaf? Whoa! <laughs> Welcome to my world, dude. Can't hear you, Chris. You got a fuzzy marsupial on your face. <laughs> you okay? Yep. Just had a hairball. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! 
Koala balloon's gone! That can only mean trouble. And that trouble's name is Dingo. A whole pack of dingoes! Oh, we gotta find Koala Balloon before they do! Koala Balloon, where are you? Where could that marsupial be hiding? There he is, Martin! Grab him! Gotcha! Chris, go long! What? I have an idea! Coming at you, Chris! Got him! Ah! Hang on to Koala Balloon for as long as you can! Oh, easy for you to say! Hurry, Martin! the best time for an art project? It is when it's a koala decoy. If it looks like a koala and smells like a koala, then it is a koala. Okay, Chris, toss him over. It's about time. Yeah. The old switcheroo. Oops. Oh no. I've dropped my tender, juicy baby koala. All right, they fell for it. There's always time for a little art. Ah. Whew, that was close. The good news is we covered a lot of ground with that dingo chase. The bad news is we went five kilometers in the wrong direction. Oh, it would have been nice to travel at night when the desert's cool, but it looks like we're gonna be spending the night in this tree. Yep, can't take a chance having the koala anywhere near the ground. Nope. Yep. Good night, Martin. <sighs> Good night, Chris. Good, Good night, night, Koala, koala Balloon. balloon. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, Martin, koalas are active at night, so he's going to stay up all night, and we've got to keep an eye on him. Oh, morning, Chris. Morning, Martin. These are the koala's home trees. It's like where their family lives. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> that wasn't you, Aviva. It was the male koala saying, get lost, this tree is ours. It can sound like a snore or what you just excused yourself for. Just trying to be funny. It helps me when I'm anxious. Should we go try to find the guys in the desert? Hmm. According to my calculations, they should be here by now, Aviva. I'm not worried. If anyone can handle the desert, it's the brothers crack. You're right. I just wish they would have taken their creature pods. I mean... I hope they're having fun. <sighs> okay, it looks like we only have a hundred kilometers to go. A hundred? Or, or maybe two? I can barely read this thing with the blazing sun in my eyes. I'm just glad I have my baseball cap to keep our koala cool and shaded. But I've never been hotter. And I've never been more thirsty or exhausted. Hey, Chris, you want to take a splash in a mud puddle? What? What my bottle? The one over there. Oh, it's so wet and cool and squishy. Oh, yeah, I see it. Woohoo! Mud, here, here we, we come. come. Ah! Oh, sand. Oh, this isn't refreshing. Oh, we saw a mirage, Martin. The mud puddle wasn't real. We just thought it was because we're so tired. <laughs> All we wanted to do was keep the koala safe in the desert. <laughs> and get him safely home to the eucalyptus forest. Hey, Spinester, we wish we had your skills to survive in the desert. <laughs> yeah, scales to keep the water on your back. And straw-like grooves to run it right to our mouth. <sighs> We've got to save koala balloon. Yeah, yeah, but the only way to do that is if we had the powers of a desert creature, like a thorny devil. If only we had our creature power suits. You mean these? How'd you fit them in there? What can I say? I'm a great packer. <gasps> Didn't Aviva make us thorny devil discs the last time we were in the Australian Outback? Yep. Activate, Activate creature power, power suits! I know the guys are creature adventurers, but it's been too long and it's too hot. They must be lost in the desert somewhere. 
Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Mm -hmm. Huh? I'm seeing it, but I'm not sure I want to meet it. <gasps> it's them! They're wearing thorny devil creature power suits. Hmm. What happened, guys? This happened. Where did you find a koala in the desert? Oh, he dropped from the sky. Long story. But first, we gotta get this little koala back to his home tree. That little guy gave our survival trek a whole new challenge. But, but we, we made, made it. it! And we're just glad to have you home. But I wasn't worried uh, one bit, hmm? Uh, we sure learned a lot about koalas while you guys were on your trek. We did too, like never take a koala out to the desert. Yeah, some animals are specialized to live in certain places. Just to let you know, guys, you did use technology on your trek. Your creature power suits. Oh, well, uh, only to get natural creature powers. <laughs> <laughs> what really counts is Koala Balloon is back where he belongs. Up in a eucalyptus tree in the shade of a eucalyptus forest. Eating eucalyptus leaves and getting water from them. Which reminds me, I am so thirsty. Anybody got a lemonade? Or an iced tea? Coming right up. Pour it on our backs! Huh? That's a waste of lemonade and iced tea, if you ask me. Oh, watch and be amazed, Jimmy. Watch and be amazed. Now that's the way to have a cool drink on a hot day. 